Hello, I'm Simon Whistler. You're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today, we're looking at the top 10 famous liars throughout history. Lying gets a bad rap, but oftentimes it can help keep life interesting. Lies can inspire people to greater heights of achievement, even as they often sink the liar to lower depths. Lies save more lives and livelihoods than you'd ever believe. So here's to 10 of those who most successfully raised dishonesty to an art form. Number 10. Herodotus This ancient Greek recorded the events surrounding the Greco-Persian War in the 5th century BC, as seen in films such as 300. A contemporary described him as the father of lies, and one esteemed historian has called him a mere storyteller. In the cartoon History of the Universe, Professor Larry Gonick reveals that those lovely quotes from Spartan King Leonidas like COME AND GET THEM when they were told to surrender their weapons, or the responding to the Persian threat that their arrows would blot out the sun with Then we will fight in the shade were probably 100% fabricated. Probably no other historian's lies have done so much to entertain audiences. Number 9. Robert Ripley When a person starts a cultural institution called Believe It or Not, you have to expect that the truth will not be a barrier to a good story. Goodness knows the Empire His Novelty Fact publications that started in 1929 showed that that scheme worked. By 1932, he'd been voted most popular man in America, and had films, magazines, comic strips, and a radio show devoted to him. There are now museums around the world devoted to him, and Ripley exhibitions are covered by the New York Times. Unfortunately, his legacy also introduced such nonsense into the public psyche, like the idea that Albert Einstein flunked maths as a kid. Number 8. Jean-Eugène Robert Houdin In 1856, French authorities in Algeria were threatened by a revolt. Learning that the rebel forces were being influenced by the alleged magical abilities of their mullahs, the Islamic equivalent of priests, Robert Houdin was dispatched to one-up their magic. Doing tricks such as the infamous bullet catch and one with an electromagnet, where he made strong men seem too weak to lift containers with metal, he nonviolently prevented a rebellion in Algeria for much of the century. During his career, he all but created much of what we see in modern magic, including the traditional magician suit template, which was nice but probably didn't prevent too much bloodshed. Number 7. Count of Saint-Germain He was an 18th century court regular of Louis XV, serving as a diplomat, a secret agent, a composer, and author. He also claimed to be a magician capable of various elaborate forms of alchemy. Most importantly, he first won court favor by claiming to remove flaws from gems and managed it by taking a low-value gem and switching it out with a flawless one he found elsewhere in France. He claimed to be in with many secret societies and that he was 4,000 years old. Amazingly, some particularly devout followers still believe that he is alive today. Number 6. Jasper Maskelyne If I could stand in the focus of powerful footlights and deceive attentive and undisturbed onlookers separated from me only by the width of the orchestra pit, then I could most certainly devise means of deceiving German observers a mile away or more. That's not a quote from Maskelyne himself, but from a movie made about him, 2001's The War Illusionist. It captured the spirit of his accomplishments, however, especially the untrue ones. During World War II, he perfected the innovative fake army for surveillance technique that made the Normandy invasion successful and helped liberate North Africa from the Axis. Then he hilariously exaggerated his accomplishments by making claims that he invented a flashing light system that disrupted German night bombing runs. It's honestly a shame that there's only one movie about him so far. Number 5. Alistair Crowley These days, Crowley is mostly famous for being a supposed member of magical societies in Great Britain in the early 20th century, and for seeming like he was just messing about because there was a period of religious revivalism in the late 19th century that he was needling. He also claimed to possess the power to make himself invisible, among other things. He then lapooned his own claims with The Book of Lies, which was a 93-page book with 93 chapters, where he made even more obviously untrue claims. But then, and and this really is too good to be true, he claimed to have actually been offered induction into the Freemason society on the basis of his knowing the secret. He turned the group down, however, because, well, he had made up the secret. Number 4. Raoul Wallenberg Returning to the subject of lying to the Nazis, Raoul Wallenberg's magnificent lies saved thousands of lives in Hungary in 1944. In history's greatest act of forgery, this Swedish representative distributed thousands of illegal phony passport visas that would allow Jews who had been previously seeking relative asylum in Hungary passage to Sweden. He went so far in his pursuit to save people that he was known to physically stand on top of moving trains in order to continue handing them out to passengers. 
Number 3. Harry Gergeson After the Romanovs were killed in 1917, many people came forth to claim to be lost royal stock. No one was more successful than Harry Gergeson, who was actually just a New York City orphan. Most of his success stemmed from the fact that he kept claiming, up until his death in 1962, he was actually Michael Romanoff. He would keep up this lie even after he had been arrested, sued, and deported from America ten times. In fact, he used his invented royal credentials to found a high-profile Hollywood restaurant, make the usual celebrity friends, and enroll in Harvard. It just goes to show, stick to the lie, and eventually, people might find the whole thing charming. Number 2. Alan Abel Sufficiently high profile enough that the New York Times published his 1980 obituary, which was exposed as a lie two days later, Alan Abel is a still surviving prankster that likes to embarrass major news outlets and satirically point out how willing people are to get angry over nothing. His awesome list of pranks which he's pulled on the public include the Society for Indecency to Naked Animals, which got worldwide coverage by demanding animals receive clothing, the prisoner advocacy group Females for Felons, and numerous other incidents and phony organizations. You can and should read all about it on his website. Number 1. Wilhelm Voigt not many people can become national folk heroes by simply lying about being in the armed forces. Of the ones that do, almost none of them do it with the zest that Wilhelm Voigt brought in 1906. Renting a fake captain's uniform that didn't fit and wasn't kitted properly, while also fresh from a life of destitution due to a lack of a work permit, he went to a barracks, ordered ten soldiers to come with him as an honor guard, and went to the city hall of a Berlin suburb, Kopenick. There, he had the mayor and town treasurer arrested, took 4,000 marks in loot, and told his soldiers to stand guard at the city City Hall lends watch as the prisoners hightailed it. He was arrested ten days later and became so beloved by the anti-militaristic section of the German population that he was set for life after spending less than two years in jail. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below and don't forget to subscribe for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also over there on the right, a couple of other videos that you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.